It's on enthusiast hardware where we first see the innovations that trickle down to the mainstream stuff a couple of years later. So there's usually a whole lot more for me to say about a piece of high-end gear than a value one. But once in a while, it's helpful to come back down to earth and find out just how much the value customer gives up compared to the enthusiast customer. So. Welcome to a bit of a new style video for me. I'm calling it a micro review about the Motorola Moto E 2015 4G variant. Corsair H80i GT and H100i GTX all-in-one liquid coolers improve both the appearance and cooling of your PC. Click my face or this spot or this spot. How many annotations can he make Nick do to learn more? Since this is a micro video, there's no time to waste, so let's get right into it. This little guy is an entry-level smartphone whose killer feature is right in the name, 4G connectivity, but it gets some other upgrades as well. Compared to the 2014 model, the processor has been boosted to a Snapdragon 410, RAM holds steady at one gigabyte, storage gets bumped from four to eight gigs with the same micro SD expansion, the battery capacity jumps 20% to 2390 milliamp hours, and the screen jumps from a 540 by 960 pixel 4.3 inch display to an okay the resolution stayed the same and it only got bumped to four and a half inches but size ain't the only important thing here folks the new display is an ips panel it's not the best i've seen and whites have a yellow or even slightly orange cast and blues are oversaturated but it's a heck of a lot better than tn so yay Joining that at the front of the phone is a 640x480 selfie cam, a speaker that pulls triple duty as the headset speaker, an unexceptional loudspeaker, and a great little storage nook for pocket lint and other random crap, and that's about it. The buttons are on screen. At the back is the camera for 5 megapixel stills in 720p 30fps video that stunningly doesn't include an LED flash. I mean, seriously, how much more would that have cost? Then around the edges of the removable rubbery feeling ring are the micro USB charging port, satisfying feeling volume and lock buttons, and a headphone jack. Then you can pull that baby off if you want to get a different color one or access the micro SD and SIM slots. 3G version users will actually find two slim, so slim, slim, slim slots in here. So let's talk about using this thing. The screen is noticeably non-retina. Uh, it's pretty slow. Uh, Android 5.0 Lollipop, in spite of its non-bloated, basically vanilla implementation, Implementation, other than some little stuff like the handy notification glance feature that I love on the Droid Turbo, cannot save it. Compared to older hardware, something like an iPhone 4 or 4S, non-power users might not be bothered, but on occasion, I found myself putting the phone aside to do something else while I wait for something, which is never a good sign. Which isn't to say that the whole experience is terrible. The phone feels really solid and the ergonomics are mostly good with more grip on the back being my only real request. 2.4 only gigahertz Wi-Fi is a bit of a drag, but the good news is that my Bell LTE connection is significantly faster than my landline, which the 2.4 gigahertz connection could saturate anyway, and I have lots of data, so there's that. Battery life was a really strong point. I was expecting going from a 4,000 milliamp hour phone, the Droid Turbo, to a 2,000-ish milliamp hour battery would bother me, but the lower power hardware in here allows it to easily make it through my most demanding days with plenty of battery to spare. Which leads to the micro conclusion of this micro video. The camera is not as bad as I expected in decent light, but the lack of a flash means that poor lighting conditions will come often. And while at $20 more than the original Moto E, it doesn't feel quite like a direct replacement. Given how much has improved, you're getting a great value for your extra 20 bucks, with the most notable bits being for me, the IPS display, the improved battery life, and of course, LTE connectivity. The only decision then to make is whether to spend a little bit more for the significantly better Moto G. Speaking of significantly better, wouldn't it be better to have an anime site created by anime fans for anime fans? Yes, I'm talking about con country roll. 
That sounds delicious, but I'm actually talking about Crunchyroll, which is also, also delicious. They offer the most current episodes of new shows straight from Japan, like Ace of the Diamond and Kuroko's Basketball 3, with a large collection of the most popular anime series, like One Piece and Sword Art Online, with full episodes of, like, all of that stuff. And all of the content on their site is professionally subtitled. So, all you gotta do is head over to Crunchyroll.com slash Linus, and you can sign up for a 30 day free trial of Crunchyroll Premium. Our link gives you the whole month of free anime completely ad free. And if you enjoy the many benefits of premium, like 1080p streaming, getting new episodes of shows straight from Japan within an hour of their premiere, and being able to stream anywhere, anytime from a variety of devices like your phone, tablet, or game console, you can continue your premium membership to Crunchyroll for only $6.95 a month. So head over to crunchyroll.com slash Linus and check it out. So I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you thought it blew chunks. Um, or was not quite that bad, but also just bad. Also, uh, check out the link to our forum in the video description if you want to leave a comment on the video and discuss it with our other viewers. Also linked in the video description is a link to our merchandise. Where you can buy a cool t-shirt like this one. You can give us a monthly contribution for no reason other than that you love our videos. You can change your Amazon bookmark to one with our affiliate code. You can subscribe to our other channels, Tech Quickie and Channel Super Fun, and... <gasps> Also, you should probably subscribe and follow this channel if you thought this video was good, but not if you hated it. Unless you, like, enjoy punishing yourself, in which case, uh, call me.